Shakespeare. Mr. Shakespeare. Please. And uh, as you see, when wasn't he called Shakespeare? When, when, when you when you William go, Shakespeare. Yeah, William Shakespeare. Yeah. When you when you go here, you have to um, go and see a, a, a play. You have to wear a safety helmet because people tend to throw peanuts about. Right. It's very it's a very beautiful building, isn't it? I think it's. it's Mm, yes. There's a lot to be said for it. I think that's an incredibly beautiful building. Mm, not many people can get in, uh, and you have to climb up there to get a uh, to get a view of the stage. But nevertheless, pretty striking, I think. Pretty striking. And always built at an angle. Pretty and striking. What the box office? Mm. It's so that people run through when they're getting the tickets and fall out that end there. They keep going, yeah, through and coming yeah. out one end and going in. They don't have end. time to pick up the change. They just put down a like the soldiers yeah. in Aida. You wouldn't understand that being a cretin. I do. I know all about Aida. Toriador, Toriador. Thank you. It's a model made of the original boats that Shakespeare used to come down the Thames when he was visiting Christopher Wren. <coughs> this is uh, Cannon Street Station, built entirely of cannons. That's because they ran out of clay pipes when they built St Paul's. Bloody wind. So, would you like to make a final comment on the... Uh... Yes, as we see here, we've, we've got a panorama of London's history here. Uh, the Elizabethan, the, the 20th century technolo technological revolution. In the background, the 21st century, represented by this computerised prison, really. Um, the, the, the 19th century and the, the railway bridge there. 20th century again in the distance, the telecom tower. Tradition, St. Bride's Church, as you can see, the spire rising here. Yes. And the grand history of London represented as it is by... There's a man over there walking backwards on top of that roof with a video camera in his hand, taking a film. But, but, uh, and then me. I think I represent the 21st century. I thought more of the first century were you. First to the 21st, all in one person, the epitome of... Will I say goodbye then? Well, goodbye then. You frightened, you frightened me then. I've only got 45 minutes of film down here. <laughs> Who's going to watch it, I ask myself. <laughs> Up he stands by a bus stop in central London, awaiting his fate. He is, of course, getting further away. Make the most of him. You won't see his like again. This is the Barbican Centre. The Barbican Centre? Here is the door. It's more like Alcatraz. It is... Close. And here we have the corridors of power at the Barbican Centre. As you can see, the bustling crowds rushing in. They're, they're pouring in to see the art. Uh, here comes one now. But we won't take any notice of him because there goes Mr. Gordon. He's cleaning up here. Yes, he's he's sweeping and bustling. Excuse bustling. Me, I'm moving on cleaning up. Here. <laughs> Do you mind? I've done a whole lot of barber can accept the bit you're standing on. Do you mind? <laughs> Action. This is the Barbican Centre. That, that way to the Barbican Centre. That way to the bank and St Paul's. If you wish to put money in or bury your relations, Moorgate 
British Rail buses. And it says in my book, if I follow the yellow line, I will drive at Liverpool Street. Off I go. Mm. You're funny, you're right? You don't realise this. Stopping now. I'm the one on the left, right hand side. Can I walk along left the hand. wall here? No, no, you can just walk along sideways. Sideways? Sideways, yes. Like that. It's called a tracking shop. I would make sure you don't fall down the hole. Yes. Uh, are, there any, are there any holes to fall down? No, I'll keep an eye on this one, there was, there was a hole. Was there? It was marked hole. You can't see, you can't see them anyway. This is, this is, I mean, we've got to tell this to John Patton. I mean, not John Patton. Peter Lilly. The trouble is, there's a big crack in the wall there. It's depressing, isn't that? Ready, the trouble steady. Is, if I walk towards it and discuss what I can see, you won't hear me because I have to get louder and louder. Yeah. As no, I... No, only one, because I'm... Well, this is the headquarters of the Conservative Party. As you can see, most of our members are trees. They begin as shrubs in the young conservatories, as small shrubs, and then work themselves up to great palm things sticking up into the sky. As you can see, uh, I think you have to get a bit closer. And the, the problem is, he's watering and getting support. The problem, of course, if you're a palm, is you've got to get support. And you've got to get people to, to, to enable you to grow, to, to make you go upwards to the light. Otherwise, you end up down as a moss. As a moss. Um, and nobody wants to be a moss, do they? Now, for instance, these are, these are members of the local, the local um, conservative party. This spotted one is, is quite young, you see, they get spots when they're young. Um, they go when they get a bit older. If you can see that big, big frond, one of my best fronds, um, has got no spots on at all. Anything you'd like to ask me, sir? When do you water them? When do I water them? Well, I, I water them by subscription. You mustn't laugh when you're taking pictures because the camera... It's very, di it's very difficult actually to take a photograph that doesn't get the... Move very slowly, that's the thing. Right. Well, yeah, it's, it's the reflections.